Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to flash your Samsung Galaxy S21 FE with custom ROM. Custom ROM is an official version of Android released by users, not by the manufacturer, in this case, not by Samsung, and it can either add more options um, in this video i will be using an example version of custom rom which will have galaxy ai here which is not available for s21 fe uh, but of course you can also download a version of the system that will for example mimic the google pixel version um, which completely changes the appearance of your Android, which is really great. And you can do it, of course. Uh, this video is going to be quite long and quite complex, so make sure that you follow it exactly. And at first, we'll need to do a few things. Let's go to the settings about phone and make sure that you know your modal name. In my case, it's SMG990B2. So if you want to use the files in the description down below, because there are some files linked, then you can only use it if your modal name is also G990B2. If your modal name is different, you need to find the file yourself on the internet. Now, let's go to basically software information and click on build number seven times. Go back twice and go to developer options. Now, there should be an option OEM unlocking, but I don't have it because I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. So let's quickly connect to Wi-Fi. Now we are unlocking the bootloader. If your bootloader is already unlocked, you can skip to the next step. But if it's not, then just follow what I'm doing. I'm connecting to the Wi-Fi. Was it connect incorrect? Okay, yeah, I forgot that one. Yeah, now it is connected. I'm going to close the settings and reopen them. Let's go to developer options. Now we have OEM unlocking, but my bootloader is already unlocked. So if yours is locked, then you should simply enable this option. Then shut your phone down by pressing and holding on power and volume down. Power off and power off. Unplug the cable from the, from the phone if it's plugged in and keep your cable handy make sure it's already plugged into the computer and now start pressing and holding on both volume keys and while doing so plug in the cable if nothing shows up on the screen for five seconds start pressing and holding the power button as well now if this screen shows up press and hold on volume up release when the screen goes off and now, in my case, it says lock bootloader, so I don't want to do it most certainly. But if it says unlock bootloader here, then click on volume up to approve. I will click on volume down to disapprove because I want my bootloader to be unlocked and it is currently unlocked, so I don't want to lock it. But if your bootloader is locked, then you will be able to unlock it by clicking on volume up. So now uh, we'll need to uh, just exit out of that and I'll actually go into this mode again so okay I, I failed never mind I'll turn the phone off um, um, after after unlocking the bootloader you should turn your phone off then press again just put it in the same mode as earlier volume up and volume down plug in the cable press and hold the power key but this time, we will put our phone in download mode, not in um, unlocking bootloader. Okay, now let's click on volume up shortly. Uh, to make sure that your bootloader is unlocked, it's worth waiting. Uh, once you unlock the bootloader, wait until it loads through everything and then uh, set it up and... Um, go to the developer options by clicking seven times on the build number in about phone then go to developer options and make sure that oem unlocking is enabled and grayed out um <clears throat> now we're in download mode but we'll need to get to our computer so uh, here i have the files that are linked in the description down below of course um you can use different ones if you prefer or if you have a different modal than me then also you will need to use them custom recovery is important we'll be doing custom recovery first then custom rom i have selected this one this is also samsung's firmware 
uh, but it's made for Samsung S24, which means it will have uh, Galaxy AI, which is unavailable on this phone. So mm, that's why I'm doing it. And um, but of course you can get like Pixel Experience, you can get Lineage OS. There's so many different options available. Uh, now also, besides downloading this file, you'll need to go to our website, hardreset.info, uh, then go to download. If there's an ad, just close it, of course. And download two files. First of all, Samsung drivers, go into them and click on download here, then click on download again. And also a DIN, you'll need to get a DIN 3.14.4, click on download and click on download here. Once all the files are downloaded, uh, everything will be an archive. Try right clicking and extract all or if it doesn't work, get the program win-rar.com and download it and for free. Then you can right click, go, uh, go to WinRAR, extract to. Now, first of all, Samsung driver. It is very important that you right, double click on it, install it, then restart your computer. Once the uh, computer is restarted, go to Adin, go to Adin again, go to Adin Exe, click on OK. And now we are here. Our phone is already connected. It's displaying here because it's in the download mode. So it is super important. And now we'll need to append two files from the custom recovery folder that we have. So first AP, for AP go to, I'm gonna go to the desktop, go to custom recovery folder, select the tip WRP. Of course you can div use a different custom recovery if you want, but I'm using this one. Mm, and you can still use this custom recovery that I have, even if you want to install a different ROM from the internet. Recovery is just needed to be able to do it, uh, but it doesn't affect uh, how your phone perform, like, whether you can or cannot install some certain types of the custom ROMs. Everything can be installed, but custom recovery needs to be installed first. So I recommend this one because I will be using this one so you can follow it exactly. Also, VBeta disabled should be appended on user data. Also, it's important that you go to options and disable auto reboot. Basically, unselect everything here. Uh, and now once we have everything, click on start. It's going to be pretty quick. Mm, and once it's done, leave the cable plugged into the phone and now do this power and volume down. Just press and hold on them for seven seconds. Once the screen goes off, move your finger from volume down to volume up while still holding the power. So power and volume down at first. Now let's move to volume up. Once the Samsung logo appears, we can release the power, but keep holding volume up. Okay, now wait for 15 seconds. If this screen doesn't disappear, you'll need to quickly release and press again volume up. Make sure that you do it quickly like that. It was super quick. Um, and you'll need to go to recovery. It'll get you to recovery automatically. It says the phone is not running official Samsung software. So we know that it worked. And now we are in the custom recovery screen. Uh, first, you'll need to go to wipe. Then format data. Yes. Type in yes and approve. Wait a moment and uh, go back, go back. Advanced wipe, Dalvik cache, data and internal storage. Swipe. Now click on back, click on back and click on back. Now let's reboot, click on reboot from the main page, then recovery. We'll go, it'll automatically go back into recovery, which is great. Um, now let's press on the power key to continue. Um, it'll automatically go to the uh, recovery, which is great. And we will be able to upload the file now. Now, there are two different methods. There's either IDB sideload that you can use if you know how to do it, or the method that I'm, I'll be using, which is MTP. So for MTP, let's make sure that we have uh, something mounted, like let's say, I think you should mount the system. I'm not sure, let's, let's see. Let's go to the 
to the file explorer the sm internal storage okay it's it's already there so uh, we have the twrp folder and next to that we should just put our zip file from the custom rom folder or any other custom rom that you have downloaded just place it somewhere here it's gonna copy it'll take a moment because it's a big big file just quickly going back to the topic about side load uh, adb side load if you if you are not able to do it through this method that I'm doing right now, which means if you copy the files, you won't be able to find them later. I'll show you how to find them. But if you aren't able, then go to our website, download mini ADB and fastboot with drivers. Um, just type in ADB and you'll find it. Uh, once you download it, um, restart your computer, install everything, restart your computer. There's gonna be free files, install everything restart your computer and then um, go to the folder that you have your zip file in on your computer not on the phone just like that like that right click here it's best to also change the name of the file here to like for example rom.zip it's gonna be easier that way right click here open in terminal and then um, type in adb sideload and the name of the file and you will be able to do it but to do it also you'll need to have uh, the side load service enabled which you can do in advanced adb side load but we'll be using it through the method that i'm doing right now which is install and you can see i have the file right here let's click on it and now swipe to confirm and now let's wait it's gonna take quite some time i'm going to get back to you after a moment it's gonna finish here and we're gonna reboot the system as I can see it is already done, so uh, what we can do is simply click on Reboot System and now wait a moment, um, press on the power key to continue and now let's wait, it'll take some time for the phone to start for the first time after flashing the custom ROM, but after that it should be all working, so uh, let's see everything and we'll be good to go. Okay, I think the phone's turning on. Yes, it does. Uh, yes, it is. Let's start the setup. I'll super quickly go through the setup um, because you can set it up on your own, of course. Um, the most important part is to have it have it um, finished. So I'll just finish it and I'll show you how the system looks. Okay, we are set up. I can already see some things of the phone um, that indicate it's the newest version. Uh, it's like the uh, S24 version and um, you'll see if you go to, for example, the settings, then there is Galaxy AI now. So um, you can see it works. Wi-Fi is required, of course. Uh, but yeah, everything is there. Uh, you can see it shows hardware revision 01. It still shows our product name and model name correctly. Uh, <coughs> it's just that it shows a different, it looks different and the software version is made for, for the um, S24. And that's basically it. I hope that this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.